Now, Ray, I'm sure I'm not the first to tell you that your airplane just looks like an alien on Star Trek. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting looking aircraft. And uh, trust me, it always draws a crowd wherever we go. Let's go flying! Is that a wild looking airplane or what? She's called the Super Guppy. And she was designed 60 years ago to carry giant space stuff. And I've been flying over that thing my whole career when it comes in and out of Phoenix and fuels up. And I finally caught up with a NASA pilot who told me that thing can carry 22 tons. I'm Bruce Hafner, and this is that Chopper Guy show. Now, I'm not sure if the Apollo 11 astronauts figured on meeting any aliens when they landed on the moon. But after they flew home, their command module was transported by a Super Guppy. And in the blink of a historic eye, the Super Guppy secured its place in aviation history. NASA Guppy pilot Ray Heineman was seven years old when Armstrong and Aldrin became the first astronauts to step on the moon. And now, 50 years later, he's transported Orion the next spacecraft Five, heading to the moon. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. Now when you're up there flying the airplane and you're thinking about what's back there that costs, I'm sure, over a billion dollars, some of the things you carry? I signed a receipt. I had to sign a receipt for a spacecraft that was worth $2.1 billion, with a B, dollars. So, I mean, that kind of puts it in perspective that you're signing for a piece of equipment for the nation. And, and this thing is $2 billion worth of people's lives invested in it. And obviously, you're going to take ultimate care of it to make sure it gets there safely. I've flown 45 different types of aircraft. This is by far the hardest airplane I've ever flown. And it's really affected by any kind of crosswind. You know, it's really a crew airplane. Uh, the flight engineer does a lot of work on this airplane. I don't touch the throttles during flight. The flight engineer does all that. It's because you literally need two hands on the yokes. The, the control forces are tremendously high compared to most airplanes. You know, you, get, you got to think farther ahead of this airplane, I think, than a lot of others. But even though it goes slow, uh, I think it taxes you mentally as much as any kind of airplane I've ever flown. How do you open that nose? It takes about 20 minutes. Uh, we undo a, uh, all the flight cables and then we open a bunch of bolts that connect the nose and the uh, fuselage together and then we drive the nose open. Is it just me or is the Super Guppy just like the Goodyear blimp? Everybody just loves it. We really draw a crowd and, and when we open the nose, it's just people are just amazed at the size of the inside of it. You know, the story about Jack Conroy designing this airplane is that he actually designed it at a bar on the back of a napkin. Just thinking about it, it's like, wow, here it is 60 years later and the, air, the design is still flying. A lot of people even wonder how, how can it fly? What's some of the coolest cargo you carried? Just a year ago, we were moving the next generation of moon vehicles for various testing. So we were moving the Artemis One command and, and service modules to Ohio for testing, and then we brought it back to the Kennedy Space Center. Zero, all engine running. We have a liftoff, liftoff on Apollo 11. So that kind of goes full circle, right? All the way from the Apollo days. That's one small step for man. To now current going back to the moon uh, 50 years later. That's awesome, and you're a part of that. You're a part of history. Yeah, yeah. I never thought when I were in St. Louis, Missouri, watching a black and white TV of the moon landing that I'd ever be part of it. She's the only one in the world that's still flying, so uh, it's pretty unique. And that's not full on runway 16 taxi via Lima Bravo. Lima Bravo and that's a 941. Hey, if you like that video, we got a bunch more, so go ahead and subscribe to Chopper Guy. Woohoo!